Namaste everyone. Hope all of you are well in this COVID-19. And actually in the previous video of complex compound, I have just given the valence bond theory information. Today I will give you the information how to predict the geometry of any complex. So let's start and let's begin with some of the compound. As for example, our main topic is today how to predict, how to predict the geometry of the complexes. How to predict the geometry of the complexes. I hope all of you have understand about the previous video in the valence bond theory, right? So our main topic is today how to predict the geometry of the complexes. I'm giving you one question. In this, first question is F E C L 6 and here it is K4. So first of all, if this type of compound are there, then what you have to do? You have to write here 4 K plus. Okay, 4K plus plus FECN6 4 minus. Means this compound is breaking into cation and anion. This compound is breaking into cation and anion. So as you have seen here, now we have to predict the geometry of this complex. Means FECN6 4 minus. FECN6 4 minus. First of all, what we have to do? In the previous video also I have taught you that how to find the oxidation state. Means in which oxidation state iron exists in this compound. So let us consider, let us consider that iron exists in X oxidation state. Okay, so here X plus minus 1. You know very well xylide is a negative and strong ligand. So minus 1 into 6 is equal to minus 4. So x minus 6 is equal to minus 4. x is equal to minus 4 plus 6. x is equal to plus 2. Hence iron exists in plus 2 oxidation state in this complex. Plus 2 oxidation state in this complex. So now you can see here as you have seen, iron exists in plus 2 oxidation state in this complex means Fe2 plus. So what will be the electronic configuration of iron in this compound? Argon 3D6 4S0. You know very well iron is 3D6 4S2 since here iron oxidation is plus 2 so that's why we have to write argon 3D6 and 4S0. So as you can see here Argon 3D6 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 6. So this is 3D6, this is 4 6. Now, our compound is efficient here. Since cyanide is a strong ligand, since cyanide is a strong ligand, therefore, Iron electrons will be paired, will be paired contrary to Hund's rule. Got it? Means what I mean to say here, I am showing you that here the unpaired electrons will be paired. Why it will be paired? Because cyanide is a strong ligand. So here you can see Fe C and 6 4 minus is equal to argon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4 S, 4 P. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Iron electrons are paired. See you can see here it was unpaired, here it is pair and our four cyanide ligands L1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here total you can see this was 3D, this was 4S and this was 4P. So what will be the hybridization? Hybridization is equal to D2SP3. Okay? 
hybridization is equal to d2 sp3 what is the geometry geometry will be octahedral how octahedral so you can draw here fe 1 2 3 4 cn 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 and here cn and here cn so this is octahedral complex right now what's about the magnetic properties magnetic proportions all the electrons are paired here so that's why here diamagnetic in nature what is the property diamagnetic in nature why diamagnetic in nature because the electrons are paired so in this way you can predict any compound geometry i have shown you one complex that the, how to predict the geometry of k4 fecn6 so now if i give you another compound so can you predict the geometry of another compound wait let me give you some of the compounds geometry i'm giving you two three compounds nico4 can you predict the geometry of nico4 this is the complex so can you predict the geometry nico4 it's very easy i hope all of you know also right can you do it just remember this is a strong ligand and here nickel exists in zero oxidation state means 3d8 4s2 will be only there just remember this carbonyl is a strong lichen so according to that the same thing same procedure you have to write and after that you have to fill it any complex geometry just remember if there will be no strong ligand any weak ligand is there then the electrons will be not pair it will not go contrary to Bunn's rule but if the strong ligands are there then it has to be paired against the Bunn's rule contrary to Bunn's rule so that's why there will be a diamagnetic in nature and when there is any unpaired electron then it is a paramagnetic in nature you have to calculate dipole moment dipole moment formula is mu m is equal to n into m plus mu m is equal to under root n into n plus 2 pm when you will see there is any unpaired electron where n is equal to number of unpaired electrons number of unpaired electrons got it so remember when there will be paramagnetic in nature then there will be unpaired electron so according to that definitely you can find the magnetic moment values and you can predict the geometry of that complexes if you have any doubt then you can drop it down into the comment box section thanks for that i hope all of you have enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe the channel that's all thank you